just feel like he's never going to forgive us and I just like don't know how to say what I'm wanting to say. Okay, Demi, that's enough being dramatic for the thumbnail, huh? One, two, three, fuck it. Hello, huns, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're joining us now, welcome. How are you doing? What is your name? Oh, I need a drink. I've got a dead dry mouth. So for today's video, I've done a few videos like this in the past. They're basically videos where we just sit down, we'll be really chill with each other and we'll have a chat. I do quite a lot of what I like to class as less talk videos and this is going to be one of them. But this is one of my more, I would say, comedic let's talk videos. It's not a proper serious one. But I like to, you know, have a chat with you every once in a while, lighten the mood and have a little comedic chat with you. We're being proper, proper chill vibes today, girls. I've got, like, no bra on. I mean, I do have makeup on, but that's off today. I've got my jammies on. I've got my nice cuppa here. Get your cuppa. We're going to have a little trip chat. But yes, today's video, we are going to be talking about the lies that I've told. But, but, before you go judging, I bet you you've told one of these lies as well. And if you haven't, then I'm sorry Mrs Perfect, but move over because I'm not Mrs Perfect. So one of the first lies that I feel like everybody in the world tells is when somebody asks you like, oh, how are you? You just go, yeah, I'm fine. When really, you're not fine. You're never ever fine when somebody asks you that question. Or you've always got problems, you're always feeling a bit anxious. You know, you're not fine, but you just say you're fine. I don't know why we do this. Is it because we really can't be asked to have that conversation with Deborah right now? Is it just because we don't want to start like spilling our guts to everybody and then like have that like awkward moment where they're just like, I wasn't expecting that. So I feel like just for the easiness of everything, everyone just goes, yeah, I'm fine. Well, honeys, if I ever ask you if you're okay, I'm one of them people where you don't need to lie. Just tell us your problems. We'll have a right old natter. I just feel like this is such a standard lie that everybody tells, but it's just so like, why do we tell it? Like, if you're not fine, say you're not fine. Tell your problems to the world. The next one, I feel like as I get older, I'm doing it more and more and more, and I'm just like, Demi, rein it in, hon. But when somebody asks if I want to do something, I'm just like, oh, I'm busy. All of the time, even out though I'm probably not busy, but I'm just becoming such a home bird recently that, like, I don't want to do anything. Like, I don't want to leave the room. I want to just sit here, twiddle with me fingers, but I don't want to leave the room. And this isn't because of anything to do with the person. It's not because I don't like you. Like, I'd probably love you a bit. But I'm just a weirdo and I really don't like socialising that much. Like, I don't mind if you want to come to mine. We'll have a cup and have a chat. But if you're asking us to go out and do things, I'm a bit like, mm. I like to be in the comforts of me own home and me grand old age of 23. Do you know what I mean? Right, the next one actually really pisses me off because I do it all of the time. And as soon as I say it, I mean, I am pit with instant and I mean instant regret. When you're at like a social gathering or even if you're just at someone's for like a little get together or just any, anything and somebody asks you, do you want some food? Like any type of food or like a piece of cake, something like that. I always say, e, no, thanks, I'm fine. No, don't bother. And then I dwell on it for the next 20, 30 minutes because all I'm thinking about is that nice piece of food or that nice meal I could have had that I've just turned down. And I don't know why I do it because anybody who knows me knows that I'm always up for food. I am always hungry. But for some reason, when somebody asks us if I want some food, I decide to say no. And I don't know why, but it pisses me off. So Demi, from now on, hun, when somebody asks if you want food, if you do, say yes. This actually happened to me the other day and I was honestly just after it, I was just like, why did I do that? When you're having a chat with someone and someone mentions like, I don't know, like a series on Netflix that they might be watching. And then they're like, go to you, like, oh, you're a fan of it, like, have you seen it? And I just go, yeah. And then they start talking about it and I don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. But because I've already got myself in this situation and I've said, yeah, I don't have a clue now what they're going on about. But I'm just agreeing like a bloody penguin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've just got myself in that situation. I don't know why you do it. Because it's not going to make it any less awkward if I just go, no, nah, no, nah, I haven't watched that, no. Nah. But I just 
do it to fit in do you know what i mean like just feeling cool oh yeah be watching that i be watching that i'd die one day if i said it and someone was like oh so who was your favorite character i started quizzing this i'd be like um e maybe i was thinking of the wrong thing i'd have to like backtrack like honestly demi if someone asks if you've seen something or something like that just say no if you haven't this one's more on text but this i've known like this just annoys me why does everybody text with like laughing my ass off when your face is literally like this like you're not laughing your ass off or when people go like screaming not a screech left your mouth like do you know what i mean why do we do it or another one's like when people go oh my god i'm crying not a tear left your eye like what the fuck why do we do it in every one of these texts you could be like screaming laughing my ass off but the full time you're just like it's just so weird why do we lie about it like you're just sitting there but then you couldn't really text someone could you and be like half my face is straight because you know it kills the mood and yeah it just wouldn't go that well so i guess we have to this is a situation where surely well i should be accepted I feel like every single person in the entire earth does this. When someone asks you if you want to go out, but you're either trying to be good or diet, or you're trying to save money, or you're just in general like, no, no, I'm doing good. And then they like, persuade you and persuade you, and you're like, all right, okay, I'll come for one. Like, do you ever really have one drink? If you do, bloody hell, girl, you've got willpower through the roof. Because I don't think I've ever went out for the one drink and actually had one. But you know what? It's funny because them unplanned expected nights sometimes end up being, like, the best night. The most fun nights, the best nights. And you're just like, ah, going home steaming, had the night of your life. You're regretting it the next day, though, aren't you? But, yeah, I just feel like it's you never go for one. We've got to stop saying it because it never happens. One thing I, you know, one thing I was thinking, the other day as well right you know like any website you sign up to or anything like that and you get the terms and conditions let's be real nobody on this earth reads them do they not one person reads them but we'll always agree we we'll always like yep read the terms and conditions one day some website will come along and it'll have work by the short and curlies because it'll have some stupid term or condition in there and we'll just be like oh shit i didn't read them but yeah i just feel like oh my like nobody reads them like do people actually sit and read in terms of conditions surely not surely nobody's got time to read them because i think when you click on them as well they're like pages long like nobody reads them do they thing i do like i lie to myself all of the time like i'll be on my laptop and i'll just be like oh god i'll just watch one more episode of netflix like just one more one more episode one more episode 10 episodes later you've done an all-nighter you're absolutely exhausted and it's just like why does this happen to me that's why i personally hate 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 series because i know that if i get addicted to series i will not settle until i know the ins and outs of that series like i try not to watch them because if i get addicted i mean i am full-on addicted and that is it that is me gone for the next two days until i've binged it this is the perfect time of year when i feel like we'll always say this lie We'll always go oh my god like the weather's really cold and i couldn't possibly go for a run all right okay i'll go for a run when the weather gets better you know all that bullshit which we never ever do like the amount of times i've sat there and i've said to myself oh it's pouring down outside oh it's really cold i'll have to go for runs in the summer i promise i will i never do like it just doesn't happen it's like stop telling yourself you're gonna do it to me because you know bloody damn well you're not anyway guys this was just a little sit down chat comedic style video of lies that i've certainly told and i know you will have too so don't even try and cover yourself up we're all friends here you can spill the tea in the comments but yeah let me know a lie that you tell on the regular that you're just like oh, why the fuck did i do that but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you like these more sit down videos i've got a whole bunch of them on my channel you can check them out in the playlist below but i will be doing more of them if you like them so be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you shortly for another video bye just before you dash off if you are new to my channel i have a full playlist called let's talk videos in this playlist you can have a range of stuff where i spill the tea on how much youtubers really earn i tell you gross things that all girls do in the shower i answer some really juicy questions about when i lost my virginity i talk about being the fat girl in school we even have a chat about body confidence things that fat and curvy girls are tired of hearing we'll have some certain shots in there the playlist is going to be linked below but it's full of lots of juicy tea information and it's probably 
probably my favourite playlist on my channel, not gonna lie. But if you're interested, check out the link below. Let's get into that cut back. Let's have a chat about all things YouTube, being the bigger girl, you know, the things that people don't talk about. My let's chat video is linked below. Who are you?